Welcome to Manning with Hershey. Um, we've um, exciting stages really. Uh, we've just bought a, a high quality camera, which we hope is going to help the improvement of our videos and um, uh, become more professional. But um, today I, I want to talk about the England it's just named as test side, and um, I think that's a sort of a, a big thing where a young spin bowl has been picked from nowhere. And the other big thing, really, and I think it's a credit to the International Cricket Board is that Ireland's played their first test match at home against Pakistan and um, remember the first day thinking it's a waste of time but a credit to the Irish, they've come back and um, Pakistan made a good score in the first innings and um, of um, oh, the 300 odd I think the, the Paddies, the Irish did quite poorly then they came back with a big score of over 300 and O'Brien got 100 which is a great thing to see for the country and a great thing for him to be the first Irishman to score 100 and Joyce got 40 runs and they got five wickets in the second inning so I'd say a really big success for Ireland for Test Cricket and um, one of the things I can remember when Bangladesh first started they weren't very good and now they're, they're quite competitive and uh, Sri Lanka a lot long ago so you know, there's talk of a lot more countries coming into cricket. The other thing is, um, I think, a um, important thing, England has just picked their team uh, to, to play in the next test match, or the first test match. And I think, um, you know, it looks a pretty good side. I just feel that, um, um, I don't know, it's sort of still not quite balanced, I think. Uh, but, Generally, most countries when they play at home, and so Alistair Cook is naturally um, a very good player and did well in Australia. Probably had one great innings, um, and he probably hasn't got too much luck on just cricket. Mark Stoneman had a lot of small scores. I think he, he was looking to be more consistent. Um, Milan, I thought, looked really good, and he was the sort of the making of the um, of the, the batting sort of thing. And showed a lot in Australia with good temperament. Joe Root was all well as a great player. Um, I said they dropped James Vincent. I think he's played some good shots, but he's really got to work on the outside off stuff. I think he's got to tighten up for Test cricket, but still could be a good player. Um, Johnny Besto, I think, is a fantastic player, and um, I, I don't know, I know it's hard to bring the other keeper in, but I just think he is so good. Uh, and as a batting coach, uh, um, he's always impressed me. I've never seen him when he's played young. Ben Stokes is a fine all rounder. Um, I just hope that uh, he gets his his game together again, and it probably hasn't made as many runs in summer cricket this year as he should have done. Um, but uh, well, I don't know if England can afford to play him and um, Johnny Bairstow in the same teams because they're both very good players. Chris Wokes very impressed. Mark Woods done very well for Durham. Broad and, and, and um, uh, Anderson are, are fine players. But Broad's getting uh, towards the end of his year, and so is Armstrong, uh, um, Anderson. But I think if the wickets seem around a bit, they're very, very qualified. And Dominic, at best, I don't know anything about him. I think it's a bit of a bolter, but there's been lots of bolters that finish up great cricketers. So I hope they haven't panicked. And um, there's a chucky young bloke with hardly any experience uh, can finish them off or can make them. So if he's got the right thing, he will go really well. But getting back to that, I think it's quite good. Um, we're really enjoying some fine weather in um, in England, so the, the cricket is, is starting to get some more scores. And uh, then uh, um, also just reporting a little bit of Australian cricket. Um, being in England sort of keeps you in touch a bit. But I believe uh, Cameron Bancroft is going to be able to play country, which I think is really good. Um, and I think the three players being suspended, I'm sure, have learned their lesson. And we don't want to ruin their career. So I think Willis and his club will be very, very happy. And um, you know, again, for him to get back and make some runs, I believe the two of Smith and Warner have been allowed to play in New South Wales, which is, is uh, good for them. Um, I think Justin Langer, as we talked a little bit before, is in pretty good hands uh, with Australian cricket. I'm sure he'll get things going and, uh, and he made an uh, amazing difference uh, to West Australia when they were a little bit of a shamble. So uh, that's a good sign, I think. Um, I don't know. I, I, 
I feel um, I see what even has been giving a coach over there, and that might be good. But I just hope, and not to so take against Lehman, because I hear he's a fine bloke, but I hope it's not a job for the boys. And I think that, again, we sometimes in cricket appoint young people just when they finish playing cricket, where I think in English before you find most of people need a fair bit of experience. So that's what I'll be looking for. Um, and I think, again, with Lord Manger, when they talk about respect and all these things, I'm sure once you have discipline, you'll go forward. And, you know, I catch cricket in lots of different faculties, clubs, schools, all this. And once the boss is, uh, has good discipline, I think it follows all the way through the school and the cricket team and the same as county cricket. So. Anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed tonight. I'm looking forward to speaking at, uh, um, later on during the week. And uh, I hope we have a good week. I'm looking forward to the Test Series starting in England. And then we've got the World 50 over to come shortly. So. All the best. Um, keep on batting with her. She cheers.